I received a request to do a tutorial on designing and 3D printing your own cookie cutters. So I'm going to show you guys how you can, using Fusion 360, go from just a hand-drawn sketch to your very own custom 3D printed cookie cutters. Since it's October, we'll go ahead and do a Halloween theme and I'll draw a ghost that we're going to use for our cookie cutter shape. You can grab an image off the internet if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and draw one here with a dry erase board. At the end of the day, what we want to do is just get this picture to our computer so that we can trace it. And here's my fancy setup for recording my drawing. I have Google Photos installed in my phone, so I simply take a picture and I'll automatically get it uploaded to my photos account. So. Uh, here it is after just sort of rotating it and cropping it. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And that's going to go straight into my downloads folder. And here it is. I'm just going to call this Ghost. Okay, so I'll close everything and open up Fusion. Start a new design here. And... The first thing we'll do is we'll adjust, adjust our grid settings. So I'm going to make it uh, fixed. Uh, enter major grid spacings of 20, minor subdivisions of 1, and go ahead and check reference numbers. And I'll explain why we did that in a second. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on Insert, Attach Canvas. Um, go ahead and choose the XY plane, and then click on Select Image, and navigate to wherever you saved. Uh, your image. I have it right here in my downloads folder. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to navigate to look at it straight on. So when you import it, it doesn't have a scale. So it could be any size. It could be huge. It could be tiny. In this case, it's pretty small. So remember, I made when I made the grid, the grid settings um, 20 millimeters each. So each square I know is 20 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little button to scale it up and I'll just drag it up so it starts at the origin here. So that's 20, 40, 60. I want this to be about 80 millimeters. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and just sort of keep adjusting it till I get to where I want it. Uh, a little bit smaller. That looks good. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so I brought the opacity down to uh, roughly 50% and clicked on display through and I will click OK. So now the only thing left to do is just uh, create a sketch and trace this. So I'm going to go to sketch, create sketch, choose my XY plane, and I'm going to grab my spline tool. And so I'll just start at, you know, start anywhere and just start left clicking to enter my spline points. Now the best approach with the spline tool is really less is more. Um, you know, I tend to have the approach of just putting in uh, the least amount of spline points that I need to get started. And you can always add them later, but it's always a good idea just to start with less just so your model is not too complicated because um, it will be a headache later if you have to adjust more than you need to. So okay there's our basic um, curve and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uncheck canvas so you can see what I was left with and I'll hit escape so you can see uh, what the sketch looks like. So now we can go ahead and adjust our points um, so that they uh, you know, better fit our drawing. And with the spline tool, you can just grab, you can grab these little points and just uh, adjust them, you know, just move them around so that they, they fit the profile a little bit better. And I'm not going to be too concerned about being too exact, but basically you have two options. You can drag these points around. Oops. Make sure you get the actual point. Um, or you can also, when you click on the point, you get these handles and you can tweak these handles 
to sort of change that curve. So we'll go ahead and just adjust these. Um, and you can see how quick this is. You know, it's just very simple. So that looks pretty good. I didn't have to do too much adjusting. Um, I'm going to move this in a little bit. Close this up a little more. And let's take out my canvas. And, you know, you don't have to commit to your drawing. Sometimes I may just remove the drawing and still play around with it a little more to get the shape that I want. Um, okay, so once you're happy with your design, uh, all you have to do is just go ahead and click on Stop Sketch. So we'll go ahead here, click on Stop Sketch, and I'm going to extrude this. So I hit E for Extrude, bring this up. I'm going to do 25 millimeters. And next I'm going to go to Modify Shell, click on the model, and I'm going to choose outside point 8 millimeters. Uh, 0.8 because I'm going to use a 0.4 nozzle to print this, and I'm just going to have it be two shell thicknesses. Um, so that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this out. I mean, you can leave that bottom if you prefer, but uh, I don't think I need it, so I'm just going to cut that off. Uh, just hit E for extrude, or go to create extrude, and drag it out, and there's my cookie cutter. So you can see with the spline tool, you know, you can basically draw any design, take a picture, import it, and just trace it. Um, if you want to learn more about the spline tool, um, check out my video course that I'll have a link below that um, will, you know, take you step by step through actually designing. And um, there's a few tutorials on there that, you know, I get into more detail about using the spline tool. Um, but, you know, uh, feel free to go in and you, the best way is really just to use it so you get a feel for how it works. Um, so I'll show quickly. Um, I'm just going to send this to my printer. Uh, so I'm going to go 3D print. I'm going to choose my MakerBot. Select the model. Click OK. Nice thing about Fusion is it will automatically open up my software and just throw it right on there. So that's all ready to be printed. So, alright guys, enjoy and uh, happy Halloween.